Hello and welcome back to another video. Oh wait, Alexa, switch off. Otherwise I'll get done for copyright. As you can see, I'm in as much disarray as usual. Washing everywhere. I've got new windows. I have had a proper lazy morning. I've gone to go out on my bike to do my pre-race ride and realized it's got a puncture. So I'm gonna fix that and head out on my pre-race ride. Go. Not too difficult. Okay, that is the five minute effort done. Now I've got 10 minutes, which is a nice easy spin. And then three lots of 12 second, basically full out lap sprint. That is the course of tomorrow. This is as close as I dare to get today because it's a dual carriageway and it's quite fast and quite dangerous outside of race conditions. The A46, it runs between Leicester up to Nottingham. Obviously we're not going straight between the two cities, but basically we're heading in that general direction towards Nottingham before turning around and coming back towards Leicester. I'm not just stood in the slit road, I am on a bit of grass. And I'm not being dangerous. I've done two out of three of my sprints. I've done my five minute effort. My legs are feeling good, but it's cold. Autumn is definitely here. And as you can see, I'm in my longs. It's my first longs ride for a, a very long time. Uh, anyway, let's go and do my last effort and ride back home to Loughborough. route has been loaded on my way to drive the course now and it's just started raining <laughs> Driven. First impressions, it's not that bad. It's a dual carriageway, it's no more dangerous than the one that the other ones have ridden on. So, the A30 down in Cornwall and the A50 up in Derby, it's kind of just the same as those, really. I mean, slight less visibility, um, and the road surface isn't great. There's some big potholes right where we're supposed to be riding, which isn't fantastic. Certainly not going to be the fastest course. Quite a lot of sheet concrete, so, it's going to be a lot of budum, budum, budum as, you, as you're riding along. I'm looking forward to my pizza tonight feast for one dinner's been eaten i'm just chilling it in my room now but i still need to do some last minute tweaks to my bike why do i always always leave things to the last minute so because it's really windy in the past couple of weeks i've been riding an 80 millimeter front wheel um i tomorrow i'm going to ride on this wheel which is only 50 millimeters deep in a hope that I'll be more confident and therefore I had to put out more power. So I'm gonna get this wheel ready to race. It's got a 25 mil width tire on at the moment, but the other one has got a 23 millimeter width tire on, which supposedly is quicker because it's thinner, so it's more aerodynamic. Basically, I'm making this wheel quicker. That's all you need to know. It is half 10. Done everything. Got my sexy compression leggings on. I'm hoping for good legs. It's time to go to sleep. Right, so I can now talk now that I'm out of the house. My housemates are not awake yet. <laughs> if you're watching this guys, I'm sorry if I made too much noise. And if I make too much noise, I'm way to work every day. Right, we're here. It did feel weird, only driving like 15 minutes to a national championship. And because it is a national championship, the dreaded arm numbers return. These normally flap here and cause a right pain. So I've got a secret weapon. Since last time I've bought a set of speed bands from Nopins, so they'll hopefully keep me a little bit more arrow. 
I'm trying the pillow method. So I've put a pillow inside my skin suit and I'm gonna use it to mimic my body. So I'm gonna use my pins from my special pin pot in the car <laughs> to try and get this number as aero as possible. <sighs> How stressful, I hate numbers. I hate pinning on numbers. Even these were stressful, but you know, we'll get better as time goes on. Caffeine, got my hydrogel ready, another caffeine gel up my uh, jersey shorts. But I'm gonna shut up now because it's starting to get quite hard. <laughs> and we're back. Man, that was that was tough in the wind. But I think it went well. I think I was just under 50 minutes, which on that course is apparently very good. Fingers crossed the top 30, that was the goal today. So coming into it, I was actually seeded 107th, which is why I was off so early. However, that is because my entry time was done on quite a slow course. So top 30, fingers crossed, come on. According to Strava, I rode a 49.50 for the course. So I'm happy with that. Uh, average power 365, just so slightly more than I did in Cambridge, which is good. Oh, it's just cooling down. Things that went well. I nailed my warm up and my wheel choice. <laughs> I went for the 50 mil, as I showed you last night, instead of the 80 mil. So I didn't feel like I was going to die on the, on the crosswinds, which is always good. When I was putting my kicker back in the car, I had an absolute mess. All my pins on my left hand side of my number ripped. <laughs> so I suddenly had a very flappy number, but managed to stay calm, got to the start line, and the marshals at the start were absolutely awesome and just chucked a couple of spare pins in there. So all that effort to try and go aero, and it wasn't aero, but at least I got to start on on time. Although the power was great on the way out, I pressed on into the headwind. Probably could have done that a little bit more because on the way back, it was super hard to put, like to properly press in the pedals because of the tailwind. It was so fast on the way back. And also a lot of effort was spent dodging potholes. I don't mind there being lots of traffic or lots of potholes. But when there's both of those, it gets dodgy as anything. One other thing that didn't go so well. Probably didn't beat Alex Dowson, but can't win them all. And now it's just a waiting game. See how fast everyone else went. Precautions they're putting in place at the moment at these events are, are absolutely on point, really. We've got a wear a face mask. Obviously, going into the HQ at all times. Um, got to bring around pens and obviously lots of hand sanitizer around. The numbers are disposable, which isn't great. I mean, they are recyclable, um, which is good. Everybody just stays completely sensible, completely socially distant. And personally, I think there's more risk if you're traveling to a race and stopping at a service station than there is actually at the event. Like the closest I came to anyone today was at the finish line or at the start line with the stopwatch guys. Job well done to all the organizers at the moment. Me all signed up, all done. And I'm gonna go head back to Loughborough where actually my sister is moving into her uni horse today. Results are in and it turns out I was top 25, either 25th or 24th. I'm not entirely sure, but no, I'm really chuffed with that. Going from 107th to that position is just, is awesome. That was a stack start list to have a world tour professional in the top three and then all the way down that list and stack with talent. So I'm really, really buoyed and really confident that going into my next few races, I've got two more national championships. I've got some closed road circuit championships at Thruxton and then finishing my season off at the national non-closed road. It has got a proper name, but I'm calling it the non-closed road circuit championships at Newmarket. Fingers crossed for those two and see if I can maybe even get a top 10. My sister, as I mentioned earlier, is moving into horse day at Loughborough University. My parents are somewhere and they're gonna come, come and pick me up and we're gonna go for a nice car for a, be a good, good way to end the day and see family again. I shall end this video here. Hope you enjoyed it again. If you like this video, please give it a like. As always, feel free to give me a subscribe as well. It really helps out. Until next time, thanks for watching.